Okay, yeah, thanks for joining me. This is Robert here at Mod Science again. Uh, Facebook Mod Science, modscience.net. Check out the website, ladies and gentlemen. So I, I, I had some other footage that I wasn't necessarily happy with. Uh, so I figured I'd go ahead and reshoot some of this stuff. Um, so I've made a 90 degree bend uh, on a previous plastic piece. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and just send, uh, show you, um, you know, a little bit better footage of that. So I had the, the bars laid out a little bit differently. You can lay them out either way, but this is probably a little bit more effective because you can manipulate the angles here a little bit better and also measure the distance. I kind of had everything opposite. Um, but again, that shows you the effectiveness of this tool is that you can use it any way you want to. So what I'll be doing here is I am going to be bending this part. I've already been made a 90 degree bend here and I'll show you a 90 degree bend out of here going down. Okay, And then it's going to go from down uh, back into the monoblock itself. Um, you'll find that most videos online are pretty much just 90 degree bends for at least tutorial wise but um, you know they're the easiest bends to do you know, for whenever you're starting off. I'm relatively new at this stuff too so uh, it's not like I'm an extra here, expert here, but this rigid bender tool is actually pretty cool. And uh, some of the footage that I have in the other video, I'll actually compile and take in and put into this one too. But anyway, what I'm going to go ahead and do here is I'm going to make the uh, I'm going to heat up the tubing here on this part, and then uh, prepare the bend to go down. Okay, and in doing so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I uh, bend it and then I'll be actually be bending it this way, okay? So anyway, you want to just make sure that you um, rotate it. I have it on um, the, the, the heat gun set on high. Just rotate it and make sure you kind of heat up areas to the left and the right of it. Just to make sure that uh, you have a nice even distribution here of heat. You'll kind of know whenever it starts to really start to, to melt is like you'll kind of see some, uh, some, like some air being freed up inside of the tube. And you also notice that it really kind of starts to bend just slightly. So what I usually like to do is, okay, it started to bend. So I, I usually like to just rotate it a few more times, okay, after it's been heated up. All right, I think we're good to go here. Shut this guy off. And then we want to make sure that we bend this. This part is going to come down. Right, so we want to make sure. Yeah, there we go. This part goes down. I actually have this thing set up a little bit loose on this side. I may have to reheat this too. Okay, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just reheat this. Yeah, sometimes it's hard to, to pay it to remember what the orientation of the of the bend should be. Shit, let me see this way. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to remember, at least for me, which way the bend to go. So I, what I would suggest is that you kind of practice the movements that you're going to be making. I, I didn't that time around, so you can guarantee I'm going to 
edit some of that footage so it makes I don't look like a complete idiot. But anyway, I got it nice figured out. So this is what the, like a, a different plane, a bend in a different plane. So I had the 90 degree going that way. This one is now going. Technically, it's going to be going down, and I'll show you how to look in just a second. But yeah, it's it's kind of hard to stay oriented. So you, yeah, you really want to practice that. Um, you know, getting it right conceptually in your head. I have a little bit of difficulty with it sometimes, just kind of picturing how it's supposed to be laid out. Um, I'm sure some of you guys probably don't have any issues with it, but I most certainly do. But practice, of course. But yeah, anyway, uh, this is actually a nice clean bench that way. And 90 degree that way too. So, very satisfied with that. Go ahead and put it into the water, let it cool down a bit. Okay, and then there you, there you have it, right? So again, it comes out of the radiator, comes up forward, it's gonna go down. We're gonna have another bend here about four inches down that goes in to the monoblock. And I'm actually a little bit more satisfied. I had another bending video where I did this same bend um, just a second ago. A little bit more unsatisfied with these bends, although I think I may need to bend this guy down a little bit more. Yeah, the, the bend though is actually nice and clean, but yeah, this needs to come out this way a little bit, and then this needs to come down. So that's the beauty of PETG. So we go ahead and just uh, heat it back up. annoying. There we go, now it's nice and heated. I'll go ahead and make that bend again just to make sure. And you do want to be careful and you definitely want, I guess if you want to be ultra cautious you should probably wear gloves, but it, you know, he really didn't hurt too bad. It's not really that hot. Just make sure you don't touch the part that you just heated up, of course. But I haven't had any issues with it, but yeah. That's, that's, yeah, that's a lot better. Okay, I'm, I'm a little bit more satisfied with that now. So let's go ahead and put that in there. Let that cool down. Yeah. That's a much better bend in my opinion. So, yeah, I was just a little bit unsatisfied with the angle, but that's a little bit better. Yeah. Okay, that's better for me. I like it. So we're done with that, and then all I'll do is I'm going to make another four inch bend, a bend about th uh, four inches down from here inward. Okay. And then I'll get you some footage of that here in just a second. I also need to figure out this guy. Uh, you have to excuse some of the footage. It's um, some of this is from one piece of uh, PETG and the other one, but uh, the overall flow will get figured out. Uh, this was the other piece that I had cut. It looks fine, but I made the mistake of not measuring it long enough on this side. Again, buy more than this of this stuff than you probably need. Okay, always overestimate the amount of PETG. Some of you guys probably don't need to do it. Most of you guys who are starting off will mess up a few times. Um, tools like this help build uh, your efficiency with these things. Uh, also, this was probably about 20 bucks by Alpha Cool. Highly suggested. You know, use them together, although I probably will use this less now that I have this bad boy, but 
I'm sure it will have its uses. So I'm actually very happy with this product in case you haven't noticed. Um, like I said, it's, it's taken a little bit of time to get used to how to lay this thing out. I mean, in the earlier videos, you saw me laying it this way. So, cause I wanted to use the measurements um, for certain, for the length of the tubing. Um, but you know, again, it, it's, uh, it's, you can use it either way. This is probably the more effective way of using it because you get to manipulate the angles a little bit better. But for the sake of my previous video on this one, I'm just going to be doing 90 degree bends. So anyway, um, thanks for viewing this portion. Let's get on to the next one.